President Trump is at Walter Reed Medical Center tonight after testing positive for coronavirus. The diagnosis is sending shockwaves around the world, rattling the stock market and creating a lot of uncertainty in a contentious presidential campaign with just one month to go till the election. Thank you for joining us for this nightly check-in. I'm Catherine Garcia. Doctors say the president is fatigued, but in good spirits. He was injected with an experimental antibody COVID treatment at the White House. The Trump administration said the president was expected to stay a few days at the Military Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland, as a precaution and would continue to keep up his official duties from the hospital's presidential suite. The First Lady Melania Trump also tested positive for coronavirus and is in quarantine at the White House. Let's check the latest coronavirus number here in San Diego County. 306 more San Diegans tested positive out of more than 9,000 tests performed. That's a daily positivity rate of 3%. Two more San Diegans died from COVID-19. That brings the total to 794 deaths since the pandemic began. And two new community outbreaks have been identified. That makes for 28 in all in the past week. Starting on Saturday, some San Diego City libraries will be reopening for the first time in more than six months. Of course, with some changes, 12 city branches will be reopening with 25% capacity Monday through Saturday, 930 to 530. The facilities will close for cleaning from 1 to 2 every afternoon and frequently touched areas will be cleaned every hour and after everybody uses it once. Everybody will be required to wear face coverings, have their temperature taken and practice physical distancing when possible. Libraries closed down back in March because of COVID. In June, they started offering pickup and drop off services. The list of locations opening tomorrow is on our website. Also starting Saturday, all 289 playgrounds in the city of San Diego will be open. Mayor Faulkner made the announcement at a park in Mission Bay this morning. It's welcome news for a lot of families, but of course there are rules just like everywhere now. Masks and social distancing are required. Kids are encouraged to wash their hands after they play. Visitors are asked not to use the playgrounds in different households uh, if they can't stay far enough apart. And they've advised to visit the playgrounds on days when it maybe will be less crowded. People in the East County are finding ways, meanwhile, to beat this blistering heat at the San Vicente Reservoir today. Boaters were out on the water early and then uh, many of them trying to get home by about 11 o'clock in the morning when things started to heat up. Let's check in now with Dagmar on when we can expect a cool down. For your Saturday, we are still looking at really hot conditions and also very low relative humidity. So although we are slowly starting to climb out of some of those record-breaking territory temperatures, we will still be kind of flirting with that. So ending up feeling about the mid 80s in the coast, mid 90s in through the inland valleys, mountains still at about that mid 80 mark as well, and feeling the deserts about 105, six and seven. So, but, but also keep in mind, along with these temperatures still very dry out there. So that means we still have critically elevated fire weather conditions. Please keep that in mind on your Saturday and your Sunday. San Diego mayoral candidates Barbara Bree and Todd Gloria are facing off in a debate hosted by NBC7. They are both vying, of course, to replace Mayor Kevin Faulkner. I moderated the event along with uh, help from political reporters Danny Freeman and Priya Shrether as panelists. The debate airs tomorrow, which is October 3rd at 6 p.m. right here on NBC7. And if you just can't catch it then, you can always watch the entire debate with our NBC7 streaming app on Roku and Apple TV. That's gonna do it for our nightly check-in. Have a great night.